think my biggest problem is being young and beautiful. It's my biggest problem because I've never been young and beautiful. Oh, I've been beautiful. God knows I've been young, but never the twain have met. Not says anyone would notice anyway. You know, a shrink acquaintance of mine believes this to be the root of my attraction to a class of men most subtly described as old and ugly. I think he's underestimating my readers. See, an ugly person who goes after a pretty person gets nothing but trouble. But a pretty person who goes after an ugly person gets at least camp fit. Now, I ain't saying I never fell for a pretty face. Oh, when there's your son, Faye, give me a tote with a pot of gold and I'll give you three meals a day. Because, honeys, ain't no such thing as a tote when the lights go down. It's either feast or famine. The daylight you gotta watch out for. But face it, the thing of beauty is a joy to sunrise. Mm. Mm. There's another group you gotta watch your food stamps around. The hopeless. They break down into three major categories. Married. Just in for the weekend. Terminally straight. Those affairs are the worst. You go into them with your eyes open, knowing all the limitations, accepting them maturely. Then wham, bam, you're writing letters to dear Abby and you're burning black candles at midnight. And you ask yourself, what happened? I'm gonna tell you what happened. You got just what you wanted. The person who thinks they's mature enough to handle an affair that's hopeless from the beginning is the very same person that keeps the publishers of gothic romances up to their tragic endings in mink. Why you think gorgeous, huh? Give me a break, it's still under construction. For those years, what ain't yet guessed, I am an entertainer. Oh, what's left of one? I go by the name Virginia Ham. Ain't that a kick in the rubber parts? You should hear some of my former handles. Anita Mann. Fonda Boys. Clairvoyant. Fay Ways. Bang Bang Nadesh. Yeah. I'm among the last of a dying breed. Well, once the ERA and gay civil rights bills have been passed, me and mine will find ourselves swept under the carpets. Like the blacks done to Amos, Andy, and Aunt Jemima. That's all right. Hey, with a voice and a face like this, I got nothing to worry about. I can always drive a cab. You know, there are easier things in this life than being a drag queen. But I ain't got no choice. See, um... Try as I may. I just can't walk in flats. <laughs> you know, there was one guy once. His name was Charlie. Oh, he was everything you could want in an affair and more. Oh, he was tall, handsome, rich, deaf. The deafness was the more. Well, he ain't never yelled at me. Never complained if I snored. All his friends was nice and quiet. I, I even learned me some of that deaf sign language. Oh, I, I, I remember some. It's cockroach. Means fuck. Oh, this is my favorite. Means I love you. And I did too. But, um... Not enough. You know, in my life I've slept with more men than have named under or numbered in the Bible. Old and New Testaments put together. Not once, as someone said, Arnold. That I could believe. And I ask myself, do you really care? You know, the only honest answer I could give myself is yes. I care. I care a great deal. But not enough.